It's a new twist on an old story. Nashville Children's Theater has a production of The Gingerbread Kid, and shows are coming up this weekend. They say that life is sweet in this pop music fairy tale. Today, we're joined by Executive Artistic Director Ernie. Welcome Hi, in. Hi, thanks so much. Yes. Thanks for letting me be here. This is a brand new show. Explain. Brand new world premiere. In fact, this is our 17th world premiere we've had at the Children's Theater in the almost wow. seven years of my tenure at okay. the Children's Theater. Like, not many people realize that, like, the canon of dramatic literature for young people really started in 1905 with Peter Pan. It's got all the elements of what you think of as a children's show, right? Like, child protagonist, adult, bad guy, all those things. So if you think about it, like, adults, they go back to the Greeks. Like, they got all these plays to pick from. <laughs> and, and also, so in that time, not only is it only, like, over 100 years, but there's some stories that haven't been told. There's some stories that need to be retold. One, that is the gingerbread man, which is now the gingerbread kid. And what is the story for those who might not know? Yeah, the gingerbread kid is the classic gingerbread bread band story, the run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man, but given a contemporary pop twist and a pop <laughs> nice. score, also a bit of, if you want to say, a sort of uh, Shrek attitude, oh. or for those that knew Into the Woods, the gingerbread kid, while running away, ends up running into some classic storybook characters that are familiar, Little Boy Blue, Henny Penny, so uh, and the Fowl gang, if you will, and then Fufanella from the Little Bunny Fufu story. Oh, I love yeah. the name. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, the music, the costumes, there's so much. We were just looking at it. There's yeah. so much that goes into bringing it alive. What was the process like? Yeah, not many people realize that when you come to Nashville Children's Theater, we're the largest theater company in Middle Tennessee. Oh. We're the oldest cultural institution in Nashville. Mm -hmm. We'll be 93 in December. You look great. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, you know, I'm getting a new workout plan. <laughs> but, you know, the amazing thing about it is when you come to Nashville Children's Theater, it is literally a 60 minute Broadway style show wow. that you're experiencing with the best talent, the best designers that are in town. Gingerbread Kid is one of those pre pandemic projects for us oh. that actually, right before the pandemic hit and the dark times, we reached out to teachers and we said, What are the kinds of stories that you're looking for? And so we reached out to them. And in survey after survey response, it was, Give us gingerbread. We'd like really? gingerbread. We use gingerbread in the classroom. And so that's when I turned to A. Ripold, who's a local writer and director. And and I said, like, hey, I, I think there's something in this gingerbread idea. And he came back with remixing Aww. the classic gingerbread man story. And we brought Jody Marr in on, who is a local composer, yeah. songwriter, producer. I mean, she's written for a couple people like Ricky Martin, Mika, <laughs> Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah, she's got a big name over right? there. <laughs> so that was just like a recipe for success, bringing all those people together. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so amazing. Okay, so speaking to uh, speaking about bringing it to life, we got to talk about the themes and what you hope people kind of walk away with thinking about. Sure, I mean, it's a fairly simple story. Yeah. If you think about it, most people think about running away. So this right now is about running away from your problems and your mistakes, mm -hmm. and also really kind of learning how to celebrate what makes you special and learning how to love yourself. Mm -hmm. The gingerbread uh, kid has a wiggle. They wiggle, oh. and that's what gets them in trouble <laughs> in the bakery and why they run away. And really the story is about them accepting their wiggle for something that's positive oh and, and something to be proud of. That is so cute. Yes. Okay, I need to ask, and I want to make sure I say this right. Sure. You guys, uh, each production includes a neuro-inclusive performance. Yes. Talk a little bit about that, because that was... Awesome. Yes, well actually, um, Nashville Children's Theater had the great good fortune uh, to receive funding and grant money to create our sensory friendly room in the back of the theater. So if you can think of like a church cry room, that some churches have. <laughs> that was the original intent of the space, yeah, wow. but due to the research and work of the staff, that space now isn't just a room, it's a sensory friendly environment. Mm -hmm. So let's say someone needs to go away from the loud sounds, mm -hmm. their headphones in the space. Mm -hmm. They need a darker environment than the theater. We have a space where someone can enter the dark and um, chill out for a while. There are also activities, there's a trampoline. And what's great about it is, is the sensory friendly room has a window, so a family can retreat to the sensory friendly room and oh. still feel like they're a part of the show, that they can see the audience, the actors on stage. It also has an adjustable volume. Amazing. So if they would like to turn down the volume a little, they can or turn it up. We're wow. all about inclusivity. Yeah. Thank you so That's much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, everybody, go find the wiggle and get your tickets and check out the show. Visit NashvilleChildrensTheater.org.